Hello Aquariuses and I hope you're all doing well and you're all doing fine Aquariuses it's nice to have you back on my channel and it's also nice to be back don't forget to smash the like share and subscribe all the good YouTube stuff also guys you air signs are probably the least um air signs are probably the least communicative when it comes to my channel and least interactive so what i would really like um Aquarius, is for you guys to leave me some comments down below so i can respond to you guys about you know your ideas what it is that you'd like to see your opinions okay anything at all okay even how you have been feeling how your day has been because we all need someone to talk to right and i'll get back to you guys of course whenever i get the time but it's so nice to always hear from you guys okay so I'd just like to know what you guys would like to see and you know your opinions it really does help the channel okay and i'm open to opinions so let's get straight on with your reading and see what messages we have for you guys aquarius is okay oh okay this is your first card we've got honey l which is courage nice okay so let's go in with your main reading your main tarot reading now if i sound a little bit tongue twisted Aquariuses, I do apologize for we're in the last day of retrograde, but I've been working on my throat chakra as well, so I will try making sense out of everything I say. Okay. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Aquarius, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so let's see what's going on for my Aquariuses for their current energy. What do we have for Aquariuses, please, for their current energy? Whoa. Okay, spiritual strength. Nice. So crown chakra flying out so that's great there's some awakening going on what is blocking the spiritual strength okay we have truth what do we need to know about the recent past what do we need to know about the recent past emotional loss what is crowning you okay you got the spiritual union but it came out in reverse i don't take reversals in oracles so i see what's carrying you guys through aquarius that is a lot of cards you got the empress which is fertility um fertility sorry my mistake and choose wisely i'm being told to take the fertility which is the empress card <clears throat> what do we need to know about the near future stand the ground how does Aquarius feel within themselves? Movement choices and decisions came out in reverse. The external environment, the person you're dealing with. Base chakra, which is your root chakra. Hopes, fears. Disruption and your overall outcome. Your overall outcome. Prosperity begins. Bottom of the deck, we have destiny. Okay. There's a lot of needing to reground yourself and make sure that you pretty much stay grounded. Um, especially with the choices that you make but i feel like somewhere along the line you get swayed by um conflicting thoughts conflicting feelings um especially when it comes to um feeling stuck i want to 
say that you have the you have the empress which means spiritually you've done a lot of growth spiritually you've done a lot of self work which is beautiful okay but i guess the only thing that's kind of like blocking this energy is facing the truth or learning about some sort of truth that maybe you just are unaware of let's clarify clarify the dream for aquariuses please for this reading for Aquarius please clarify this reading for Aquarius please all right I think we're ready okay so let's clarify the spiritual strength first um and see what's going on here time about the spiritual strength for the current position you have the five pentacles and you've got the fool that's your own energy there five pentacles with the page of swords is pretty much saying that you have been quite cautious okay when it comes to your spirituality in regards to coming back in from the okay so i want to say come back in from the cold but i was kind of told to stop saying that because um the spiritual strength is pretty much talking about you having come a long way okay spiritually um I feel like it's a recent situation okay from a recent past that you've just kind of come out from that and into this kind of current situation here and with the fall you're ready to start um a new beginning right you have hope for the the, the future to start something new okay there's a little bit of hesitation there though there's a little bit of hesitation there because you're not sure okay like whether this is the truth, whether this is the right way to go about things, um, I would honestly say that until you don't take the risk, you will not know. And sometimes taking the risk is worth it. Again, sometimes we'll never ever be able to find the truth in our lives about certain situations, but we can only go by what we feel and what our intuition is telling us. Um, let's see what the emotional loss is for the reason. No, let's see what the truth is, sorry. In the blocked position i feel like the truth is talking about judgment right yeah again see intuition with the empress card being there this is about you coming into into or at least if anything needing to listen to your intuition okay and regrounding yourself taking responsibility for for whatever it may be like i said you're never going to be able to sometimes to find out what the truth is and sometimes the truth will come unexpectedly to you but whatever your intuition is telling you will be the truth and you're blocking that out so because it's in the block position right so i'm just reading what it's, it's kind of like what spirit is showing me um there's a lot of feminine energy here it does not mean that it's a woman i just I am picking up that this reading is for a masculine rather than a feminine. Again, it doesn't have to be for a man or a woman specifically. You could have masculine energy. Um, I do feel that even if this truth is hidden, it's about you focusing on yourself and your own needs, right? Because you've got the Empress here twice now. So you need to really focus on yourself. I feel like you're a highly intuitive person you know what's right what is wrong okay what is best for you but trying to figure out the truth knowing that it's not going to come to you or this person's not going to tell you the truth or it's not going to be revealed to you you're just going to have to go with the best thing that you have which is your intuition tell me about the emotional loss for aquariuses the world the queen of wands somebody here had a lot of um somebody here was you were not the only option for this person right aquarius you were not the only option for this person and i think that when you went through this emotional loss you came to the completion and you transited out of that right which is why you're here now at the spiritual strength um 
so yeah i do feel here that somebody has not been honest to you you weren't their only option there were other people that they were talking to they kept their options open there may have been others along the side um you only saw this person as yours that's it you know which is why it hurt the most for you but i feel like you've come a long way from that now you've come a long way from that I honestly feel as well that this person could have been um you could have been in a long distance relationship with this person as well okay oh my god where are you going hanged man ace of cops three of pentacles you really want to work on this connection with this person okay you really want to work on it you really want to give this person all that you have in terms of love and you know unconditional love um there's a sense of needing to have patience here or just waiting okay watching how how this person reciprocates the same emotions back towards you but this is your crowning position. It's not something that you're physically doing. Um, I also feel for some of you guys, it could be issues with travel here right now, especially if you're in a pandemic situation with the lockdown. Um, you could be considering your options on how to get to this person. Flights, some flights are open, depends on countries. Um, but I feel like it's almost like saying, um, how long is this going to keep going on for? this whole back and forth I really don't feel that though I really do feel that you're trying to let go of this connection because you feel like you weren't the only option and that's a feeling maybe you saw it as well you know maybe you saw it with your own physical eyes maybe you intuitively felt it again that's where the truth comes in Tell me about fertility. You could also be thinking about how much time and effort you spent with this person. I'm just realising that, you know, they left you hanging, right? They left you just hanging there. Tell me about fertility. Uh, fertility. Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're... I mean, if this person is coming towards you and trying to make an offer again towards you, but also at the same time, they could be juggling you and another person, right? And it's almost like saying that this person will will make you feel like you're their world. When they're not getting from someone else, they drop the other person, they lift the other person up, and then they can easily drop the other person again and lift the other person up, right? Seven of Wands is kind of like you saying, uh-uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I ain't letting you back in because I'm the Empress now, or the Emperor, whatever. You worked on yourself very, very hard. You healed yourself, you worked on yourself, you gave yourself love. I feel like this person sees you as the Empress and now they're coming back in and, and they're kind of like saying, oh, I love you. We're expecting you to say the same thing. Seven of Wands is pretty much you just blocking this person out and just saying, okay, nope, I don't think so. You're quite vigilant with this person. You're quite defensive with this person now because you don't trust them. And quite rightly so, Aquarius, right? Tell me about Stand Your Ground. Justice, Hierophant, Four of Swords. Beautiful energy. Spiritually regraining yourself, okay? This is karmic justice coming in now. See that there? Standing your ground. When you start standing your ground, you're now karmically getting justice. And you're healing. This is you listening to your higher self. This is you listening to your higher self and saying, uh uh, that's how we're done. Standing up for what you believe in. I feel like if this was a marriage, you may be trying to file for a divorce. I'm not really picking that though, to be honest. I really am not. But honestly, intuitively, I feel like this is karmic justice coming in, the truth coming in that's going to help you heal let me see what this movement and choice is not a 
guess what's the sun and the five of wands? You knew that you weren't the only, the only person. Yeah. You try and make the right choice and the right decisions. You're slightly conflicted when it comes to your own happiness and which way it is that you want to move. But I feel like you got a fairly good idea, especially with the Knight of Swords being here. Okay, it's kind of like saying oh, I'm just going to go and do it anyway. I also feel that if there's this five of wands here and there's this battle going on or there's this kind of conflict going on with other people right now within your environment i feel like you're ready to come in fully armored right like fully grounded fully ready you know you're just ready to cut the bullshit out basically the bs you're ready to cut the bs out for your own happiness tell me about the base chakra Oh, that one came out in reverse. Chariot, two wands, three of wands. Wow. Chariot is talking about having a lack of direction. I'm not sure, sure which way to go, especially when it comes to standing your ground, when it comes to fighting your battles. Not sure which battle to fight, basically, because you're still holding on to something. I feel like you're being asked to choose sides here, okay? Um, I don't know why. I feel like it's almost like saying, okay, you need to choose sides here, whether... And you're like, I can't do it. I can't do it, right? And you're still holding on to this connection, this person, right? I feel like there is a long distance relationship here. Maybe this person's asking you to fight for them for something. And you're kind of like, I can't. I can't do it. Yeah, I don't want to let go of you, but I can't do it. Two cups, tower. And the eight of pentacles. There is huge changes going on in this relationship, in this connection. Your relationship is being put to the test here with the Eight of Pentacles and you're willing to work on this. Or they are willing to work on this. But again, it's kind of like they're asking you to let go of something or fight for something. You're not willing to do that. But I also feel like you're not willing, no, you're no longer willing to move towards this person or go towards this person. Right? And maybe you're wanting this person to come towards you. They may be making, maybe they're making excuses. You know, I feel like they could be making excuses. All right, let's see what this disruption is. Let's see what this disruption is for the hopes and fears. Okay, page of pentacles, the devil, and you've got the king of cups. Your... I feel like you're just waiting for this person to come in to offer truth. That's how it feels. And it's not going to happen. It's not. This is self-destructive behavior. The fact that you're still waiting, you're still expecting, you're still wanting, and it's kind of toxic. Tell me more about this devil energy and the king of cups. temperance this person is still juggling you and you're still willing to be juggled why you may not like what i'm saying aquarius but i have to tell you the truth because the cards are saying that spirit is telling me to tell you this that you are still being juggled this person does not have their feet in one place you are being juggled it's toxic love it is toxic love and you're accepting it You need to come to some sort of midpoint where you put your feet in both one place and stand your ground without getting confused about which direction you're heading in towards, okay? Without getting aggressive and just sort of thinking about the situation overall, about how you're going to kind of come into this balance, how you're going to how you're going to just sort of be moderate within yourself and say, okay, you know what? I'm no longer going to get confused. I'm no longer going to go back and forth. I'm going to just stand my ground and say to this person, yes or and no. Right? Okay, so. Nine of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. And the King of Wands. This is you. This is you being single and happy. Alright? This is you being single and happy. This is you having... 
you knowing that you have other choices and other options besides this one person okay who's just switching between you and another person really okay and this is you just you know enjoying your own company your friends this is you taking leadership this is you standing your ground definitely this is you really making that decision and putting your foot down and staying grounded nice so in the outcome it's not looking too bad but you've got to ask yourself why is it taking you all of this to get to your outcome everybody has to go through something but when the answers are there why no give advice for aquarius please something rising in venus advice for aquarius something rising in venus advice for aquarius something rising in venus advice for aquarius something rising in venus for this reading two of swords you've got the six of swords and you've got the emperor You need to take that blindfold off and you need to you need to find a direction you need to stick to that choice which is what i've just said so that you can become the emperor and stay grounded right so that you can become somebody who is very much disciplined i feel like you're expecting this person to come towards you because you've done a lot of running towards this person so it's almost like saying okay that's it i'm done right I've done a lot of this back and forth. There's no more juggling around. If you want me, you know where I am. Come and get me. Yeah. All right. So Aquariuses, I hope that this helped and I hope that this resonated. If it did, don't forget to smash like, share and subscribe. All the good stuff. I'll be expecting your comments down below. You're very much welcome all the time. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.